Hooke's law. I have used this word before. Where? Springs. But I will make it official now. What is Hooke's law? Hooke's law says, if the deformation is small, now that is a fairly conditional term. But this, uh, this is not exact science. This is very arbitrary. This is very random. What do you mean by small? What defines small? What is small? Good question. If the deformation is small, the stress in a body is proportional to the corresponding strain. Stress in a body is proportional to the corresponding strain. Matlab? Matlab? Sigma, sorry, sigma is proportional to epsilon. Sigma proportional to epsilon. Stress proportional to strain. Of course, when you convert a proportionality into an equality, what do you do? You have to add a constant. That implies sigma is equal to some constant capital E epsilon. Sir, why you keep taking capital E? Take a different constant. Okay, take a different constant. Uh, K. Happy? Capital K? For now? Hmm. Coming back. What is this small deformation? Hooke's law says small deformation. Okay. Small deformation means stress. If I plot my stress, if I plot my stress versus strain graph, proportionality means a line, linear graph passing through the origin. Yes, it is. Okay. So you are saying till A point, they are proportional. Till A point, yes. Deformation is small. What happens after that? Something like this. Right? But what's the criteria of drawing this? Uh, what kind of curve you have drawn? Why? Hmm. What I'll do is, <clears throat> I will give you an analogy here. Because analogy works best. But and then I leave it to you to later study it in detail. Okay. But I will explain it to you what is the fundamental behind. Okay. Fundamental. Before that, this constant has a name. This constant is called modulus of elasticity. Which constant, sir? Stress proportional to strain. So stress equal to a constant time strain. This constant is called modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity. Coming back to our question, what happens after this your so-called point A? Or please explain, what do you mean by small deformation? Right, oh, okay. Anybody here, anybody here has ever run a marathon? Everybody wants to run a marathon. So I'm, my question is not that anybody has run for a marathon. My question is, has anybody trained for marathon? Okay. So what happens is, let's say you are habitual to run <clears throat> 5 kilometers every day. Every day. It's not good for you to run every day. Let's say you run twice a week or thrice a week 5 kilometers with, at a brisk pace. Now what happens is, your body is attuned. Your body is habitual. Your body is used to that 5 kilometer running ka stress. So what happens? You run. You stop. Sip of water. You stretch your hamstrings. You stretch your quadriceps. You stretch your glutes, you stretch your calves, and after a while, you are okay. You are a little sore, but you are okay. You know why? Because you regain your normal C. In fact, if you are habitual to run 5 kilometers and you run only 3 kilometers in one day, and you, let's say, you run 5 kilometers, but today, let's say, you are in rush because uh, a poor sir session is there and I'm, I'm getting late for it. So you ran only 3 kilometers. What happens? You stretch and you are okay in no time. What happened? What happened? Almost 100% reformation damage control happened. Now the problem is, what if you are habitual to 5 km but you run 6 km? Ooh, that's where the problem starts. You start feeling the tinge in the calf after you cross the 5 km mark because body has a muscle memory. Body says, boss, this is uncharted territory for me. I'm not used to this. This is new. And anything new, anything new is always met with what? Resistance. So what happens? Tingling sensation. This is what happens when unprepared people run marathon. So 21 kilometer marathon is there. 15 kilometer marathon is there. They are used to running 10 kilometers and they are not prepared. They run 10. 
and then what happens there is a phase which comes there is a phase which comes in which you have a tingling sensation in your hamstring and your calves but let's say you are a brave person you are a brave boy or a brave girl and you carry on what happens after a while they say don't stop don't stop now if you stop you will never be able to start again isn't it because you reach a stage which is close to something called fatigue not a good stage not a healthy stage in which you start feeling no pain almost because in fatigue stage adrenaline rush is so high you are so pumped up that that adrenaline rush steers you through the finish line but then when you sit and when you stand like a cartoon you will fall down your legs give up believe me believe me give up it's like your leg is separate from your body it's like when you are sitting you have to lift your uh, leg under the knee and put it here they just give up so what i mean to say you get the analogy you get the analogy right so what happened first was the hunky dory less deformation that less deformation as a name till the point b a is a limit of proportionality a little bit of leeway is called elastic limit guys you don't need to be completely completely uh, here uh, literal here you can copy the graph down if you are not even copy you will find the graph anywhere you study this graph here but believe me this is the graph exactly which is a marathon runner mimics so where is our where is our importance our importance is till the a point and we mentioned the b point so guess what hooks law redefine hooks law redefine within elastic limit within the proportionality region of elastic limit when the reformation is possible stress is directly proportional to strain sir what are these yield point plastic behavior fracture point stress point technical technicalities believe me if you spend some time on it after the session using the analogy of a marathon runner you will get all these points so that's why i'm saying i'm leaving it up to your up to up to your research okay but marathon runner analogy athletes analogy is brilliant okay and what do we get out of it mathematically till what point we are uh, we are uh, in the green zone elastic limit and even in elastic limit also the proportionality range hooks law the new statement within the proportionality region of elastic limit sigma proportional to epsilon convert proportionality to equality it's called modulus of elasticity 